What's going on guys, it's your boy SK, back here with another video. And today I'm happy to announce that it is the last day of the 21 day walking challenge that I set out three weeks ago. So I felt a bunch of benefits since I started doing this challenge. And honestly, I feel like a whole new shift in my mindset. But before I go into it, I just want to quickly touch on what the challenge is all about. Just in case you yourself are watching this video for the first time, you'd like to do the challenge yourself, right? Or if you just forgot what the rules are. <laughs> so for 21 days, I've been walking outside, you know, in, in like a local park or just walking down my, you know, like my side roads, down my main road for at least 40 minutes. And while I've been doing this, right, I've been very conscious not to have anything in my ears. So no earphones, listen to music, even listen to podcasts, right? I know there are lots of helpful podcasts out there, but the concept of this challenge is more about, you know, being one with yourself, paying attention to your surroundings, right? building up that sense of awareness and clarity of mind and thought, and also really, you know, tuning in to the, the, the more frequent thoughts that pop up in, in your head. At least that's what I've been doing you might have a different experience when you do it, right? But one thing that I've, I've got feedback from in the community is that lots of people were talking about the thoughts that they were having, you know, like recurring thoughts as they're walking around because this voice in my head just doesn't, it doesn't shut off. And the thoughts that we have quite frequently are often the thoughts that govern the way that we perceive the world and perceive ourselves. So very simple, really. 40 minutes minimum each day, right? The reason why I say 40 minutes is because everybody's got 40 minutes in a day, right? You can carve out 40 minutes in a day to leave the house and just go for a walk. And I've been quite, I've been quite blessed that, you know, over this 21 day stretch, that the weather's just been great nonstop. But 21 days, regardless of the weather, leave the house for at least 40 minutes, you know, walk down a route that you're used to, or just switch things up if you'd like. No earphones, no music, no podcasts, just you and yourself observing the world around you. And it's funny because some of the, some of the people who've been doing this challenge have been telling me that, you know, they've noticed things about people, noticed things about their, their surroundings that they didn't notice initially, like initially before because Again, music is just noise, right? Music is noise. Even a podcast, as, as helpful as it is, it's, it's noise. And listening to, you know, that, that, that uh, source of noise takes us away from the present moment. Because, you know, you, if you're listening to a podcast, like all the time I used to do this, every time I leave the house, I just always put my earphones in and then play some music, right? And go on my, on my journey, be on my way. I found that I would always be tuned into what was happening around me and everything that I was reacting to in my like in my current present moment was just reactionary right? it wasn't actually because I felt connected and then <laughs> the moment I got to my destination I take my music out you know turn my earphones off and then feel like this weird buzz in my head and I just couldn't figure out what it was that was just because my thoughts were completely meshed up and they just weren't synchronized with where I was. Now, the benefits that I've started to feel have been honestly, like, I think game changing, <laughs> right? Because I myself, you know, I'm, I'm into health, fitness, wellness, right? And in order to be someone who who carries himself in that field and honestly just be useful to any capacity I need to have clarity of thought and that's what this challenge has massively helped me with right I've found that my thoughts are so much clearer I can identify just exactly what's going on you know in in the background so to speak much quicker much much and, and identify it in a much clearer light and sense and my overall sense of well-being is also just so much better, right? I find that 
since being on this challenge, it's so much easier for me to also just leave the house, uh, just be out and meet people, right? And that's, that's one thing that's quite essential to me because I'm an extrovert. So even when I'm out in my walks and some of the walks that I've been on, which I haven't really documented, I've spoken on, I've spoken to like random strangers and had a lot of conversations with them. And I know that some of the guys here who are watching this video, you know, you, you've been talking to me and you've been speaking within like the community, for example, like the Hamza Discord server, you've been talking about wanting to make friends, you know, wanting to be able to just talk to strangers, you know, wanting to be more social. And that's a crucial part of being a human being, right? You need to be able to, you need to be able to hold a conversation with people, guys. Right? Because even though we live in this digital age, the best way to get to know people is to talk to them face to face, right? And if you want to have a relationship, then, you know, <laughs> you can't just have like a, a long distance digital e-relationship. Or maybe, well, maybe you can, listen, I don't judge. But I know for myself, for a fact that, yeah, like it's a, it's a big part of my life, meeting people, talking to people. People are my business. So I have to have good social skills. And that's something that has been sharpened over the course of this 21 days. So as I've been walking by, you may have caught some people in the frame there. Like I would just say, oh, hey, how's it going? Hello, how are you? Right, something as simple as that helps, like, you know, almost like put points into the social skills skill tree. <laughs> that's the way I look at it, man. Life is just a game and we need to play it accordingly. Another thing that has really improved over the last 21 days is my mental health so on the days well before i started the challenge like my mental health was okay i won't lie mental health was all right but i found that you know i would um i would constantly be like in this routine of wake up work and then stay in the house right and the thing is i can be a homebody which is quite funny right I'm an extrovert but I can also be a homebody I think it's just because it's um, it's safety and also I have everything I need at home <laughs> you know <laughs> I have everything I need at home in order to just kind of get through the day so by doing that you know, I found that I was just um, stuck in this perpetual cycle of work sleep I don't know if you guys can hear me right now it's pretty noisy so um, yeah anyways <laughs> may have to edit this part out I don't know. but yeah basically I was stuck in this permanent cycle of work sleep not doing very much else and uh, yeah it just kind of kind of showed um, okay I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna run across the road right now <laughs> but yeah basically I was just <laughs> in this cycle right and wasn't very good for my my sense of you know mental health i was just like oh yeah it's just like same thing different day <laughs> why well, just did it was not a good thing just run ran across the road while there was traffic heading this way but gotta move things along for the purpose of the video man but yeah you know just awareness see awareness if you're there sitting around or just standing around just getting absorbed in your music like being in this fictitious world like i used to be all the time i'd create all these weird scenarios in my head i would just, i just wouldn't be aware of what's going on but yeah overall mental health has been so much better right i find that it's not even about like staying happy right because that's that's one extreme of the spectrum when it comes to mental health I find that I'm a lot more balanced and you know whenever I'm I'm faced with like a difficult task or if I get some news that it's not not great you know not the best result then I would bring myself back to the center and I've been doing that a lot more since I've been out in nature right since I've been walking out in this park pretty much every single day and even a little bit beforehand because f funny thing is I actually started the 21 day challenge before I officially started the 21 day challenge, right? It's just something that I've been trialing, 
testing and just getting into the routine of um, because I wanted to do something different with my life. You know, I, I was tired of just staying indoors all the time. And, you know, part of, part of like sort of pursuing your own business, you have to go out there, you've got to find those leads, they're not going to come to you. Once I started to realize that, I just embodied it in every way, shape or form. So, yeah, that's basically been how I've been feeling over the last 21 days. And it's been a real, it's been a real eye opener. It's been a real process because think about it. <laughs> this cute little dog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you think about it, you know, our ancestors didn't have phones, right? Didn't have um, cars. I'm talking about like our ancient ancestors. Okay, guys. <laughs> it didn't have didn't have cars didn't have any of that stuff so they walked everywhere and you know moving your body really spinning up that energy and being out in nature you know it it helps us connect better at least that's what i believe so i feel a lot more connected to myself feel a lot more connected to the world around me and you know honestly guys it's just really nice to just unplug from the digital sphere and the digital world that there is because like th this is another thing right so the lady that was just walking her dog right now okay she's a like middle-aged lady but one thing i've i've noticed as a young man looking at you know our elders they all just seem so much more content with life and i wonder why is that and then it hit me, well, yeah, because they're not spending their entire lives with their phones and their screens. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not like constantly like clicking through YouTube videos or on Instagram scrolling or, you know, scrolling on TikTok and all that stuff. And no, I'm not trying to say like it's bad for you. I mean, it is bad for you if you overindulge, but that's with anything in life. Like even if you, even if you like drink too much water, that could be bad for you, right? You could literally like rupture your kidneys. So it's just something to bear in mind. You know, it's good to be out in nature. It's good to be out, go on walks, see people around you. Morning, right? You know, see, you see people around you, man. And you'd be surprised when you're not walking with anything in your ears or your head is not in the cloud somewhere. You'd be surprised who you could bump into. You might make a new friend. You might be able to strike up a conversation with someone who becomes like later on, I don't know, a business partner or even develop an interpersonal relationship with them, right? Because I know a lot of you guys watching these videos, you're all feeling pretty lonely and I understand why. Because your best friend is a phone or a tablet or a screen. So this is my call to action. If you're watching this video right now, okay? start the 21 day challenge you won't regret it okay leave your house for 40 minutes at least 40 minutes a day right if that's too much start with 30 minutes but 40 minutes is the sweet spot 40 minutes a day okay no earphones no music if you have your phones with you that's fine if you'd like to also right when you're out in nature add me on instagram sk.lopi or create a small video a small short tag me on YouTube right you can tag me I want this to go as viral as possible guys okay we need to spread the message and really get out you know healthy living in a simple way right you don't have to be doing crazy like circuits in the gym or going on like 10 mile runs or anything like that if you'd like to that's fine right if that's something that you enjoyed and that's great but just to get out and just slowly build up these habits right this is what I call habit stacking Keep this consistent for 21 days and I guarantee you, your life will change. So, if you like the video, be sure to like it and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. SK out.